Governor Romney criticizing the president for his new idea to get the economy rolling again, a secretary of business position. That's the proposal as of this week. Herman Cain, former candidate and president for president and co-founder of Job Creator Solutions. How you doing, sir, down there in Atlanta, Georgia? Doing great, Bill. Well, I, I, and, you, uh, first do, of all, yeah. my heart Please. goes out, as with everybody's heart goes out, to the people that are trying to recover from the superstorm Sandy. And uh, we pray for them because we know it's got to be difficult. Some people don't have heat. Some people can't get gasoline, food. So our hearts go out to oh, all of the people thank you, that are sir. trying to recover. I appreciate you saying that. A lot of our colleagues affected by this, certainly our friends and neighbors all over the East Coast. So thank you for that. What about a secretary of business? Good idea? I, uh, no, not a good idea. Uh, first, I think Governor Romney summed it up best. We don't need a secretary of business. We need a president who understands business. Therein lies the difference. Here's the second point. If it took President Obama four years to come up with this lame idea of a secretary of business, I certainly don't want to give him four more years to come up with another lame idea while this economy is still running on fumes. That's the bottom line. He says, instead of nine different departments that are dealing with things like giving loans to Small Business Administration or helping companies with exports, you just put them all in the one department. Um, you're kicking that well, to the curb. And um, you look yeah, at the I'm unemployment yeah, rate at 7.9%. Does this administration have an effective plan to get America on track if President Obama is awarded a second term on Tuesday night? The answer is no. And I have spent the last two months talking to over 2,000 business owners, and they are also saying, no, President Obama does not have a plan. Now, let's talk about these nine departments. See, here's how this administration works. If President Obama gets reelected and installs a secretary of business, he's not going to shut down the other nine departments. He's going to add to the bureaucracy because, see, his plan, which didn't work, is to spend more, make government bigger, and he's now preaching to the choir at all of his campaign stops saying we need four more years to spend more money and to do nothing to create jobs. Mm. I'm not confident at all that this economy would do anything except get worse mm. if he gets reelected because he does not understand business. 7.9% is the new number that came out today, so he's just below 8%. Yes. You, you wonder whether or not that number has an impact on the last-minute voter out there or whether or not everybody's made up their minds. But having said that, this is what I hear a lot. If President Romney is in the White House, how will things be different? If President Romney is in the White House, first, he is going to push hard to reduce tax rates, which is what we need to do to get this economy going. Secondly, and I've heard this from all of the business owners I've been talking with, he is going to roll back a lot of these ridiculous regulations that while they've been campaigning, Obama's agencies, regulatory agencies, have been passing stuff that I consider a war on business. Let me give you one really, really stupid example. The National Labor Relations Board has passed a rule that says that employers cannot require their employees to be courteous to customers. This is stupid and it's anti-business, but people okay. don't hear about this. Okay. And those are the kinds of things that Romney would roll back. All right, I've got more questions. We don't have more time though, unfortunately. <laughs> Herman Cain, thank you in Atlanta. Good